All right. So we have Japanese for Lan. And we have Twig playing as the Malians. Two very strong sieves for this amazing map called Cup. Uh, the focus on Cup is everywhere. There's land focus, there's water focus, there's, there's left and right focus, there's central focus. But if you haven't seen it before, I'll explain it again. There is uh, amphibious terrain in the center here. So you can build on this terrain, whether that be a mill or a barracks or a house or a castle. You can always build here. You can dock here and fish. Or you can dock here and make navy. Or you can go on land. Whatever you choose on water, though, you can't cross over to the far side. And the far side is actually more important because there's also gold in the center. So there's so many different options. What, what you could do is you could dock over here. And, okay, there's no fish here, but <laughs> you could dock here. And let's pretend there was 5,000 fish. And you're fishing and fishing and fishing. But then, suddenly, your opponent has crossbows on the right-hand side, and you need to get a demo ship over there. You cannot cross. So it gives you an opportunity to control so many different areas of the map. Um, the amount of food they start with is standard. So you have two pigs, uh, four deer, three golds. Everyone will have an additional gold on the left-hand side. So it's, it's technically four golds per player on this map because that's normally pretty consistent in that corner. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's just a lot of different ways to, to fight and play this one out. Uh, Japanese can be strong because of their fishing ship armor. Malians can be strong because they save wood on every building. Uh, both sieves are versatile. Both sieves are insane. I would say that Malians, because they have amazing cavalier, like Cavan Camels, they're a bit more mobile than Japanese. So I would say that Lan needs to do something to slow this game down and use his strong options while, while not chasing Twig. Now, will they dock? I'm not sure. Um, I imagine some of the round one qualifiers have, have yet to be watched by some of you. And I understand that some of this is spoiled because we're cranking out round two already. But if you watch the set between uh, Lix and Stark, Stark and Lix went for completely different strategies. If you watch the set between Twig and Daniel, they went for completely different strategies. There is no meta to this map as far as I can see. There have been... Uh, victories and failures with all different types of strats. Lan is hoping to lame the pig! And he is laming the pig while at the same time Twig is trying to lame this villager who's building a dock. So here comes the pig. Twig is aware of this. Can Twig block the pig? Because currently I know pig for him. Now, he doesn't necessarily want to block the pig. He might need to try and block the scout. This is for all the marbles, guys. If Twig loses this pig, if he loses this game, he does not make it into the Hidden Cup 2 main event. And, wow, Twig loses the pig. So, nice aggressive start for Lan. He gets extra food. He starts off with the dock. Japanese fishing ships, guys, so tons of food for him. And meanwhile, there's a dock on the other side for Twig. See, this is sick. <laughs> this is sick. I love this. This is what I'm talking about. So they can't cross over here. So if they want to fight each other's fish, they have to go to the other side with a new dock. Certainly Twig will be fine. He has deer. Uh, I say he'll be fine. He doesn't have a sheep either. Oh no! He spent so much time chasing. He doesn't have his sheep. I think he assumes the sheep are gone. They're right there. So maybe he's not so fine. I don't think he can have a strong feudal age time. Down two sheep and down a pig. That's that's 500 plus food down the drain. That's really bad. That's going to slow him down. And meanwhile, Lan is all the food he would ever want. He should be able to click up. Is Twig sending a scout back or what? I mean, at this point, he's got to be really frustrated with himself. What do you do in this situation, guys? Like, all of his game plan is out the window. Because he can't up the feudal age. He doesn't have the food. I, I don't know what these vills are doing. No, Puma, he shouldn't have called a re because you can't call a re after uh, four minutes. 
The lame was at five minutes and like ten seconds. Is he sneaking vills? Walking across the water onto land. He's on gold. He drops off the food. He's on his way up. And Lan is being extra cautious with his scout because it's weak after the lame earlier. Lan does not know about this dock here. And he still will not know because he hasn't gone that direction. He's making a barracks to go man-at-arms. Now what is this? What is Twig doing here? Imagine if you were to show up here with archers. Sneaky stable? Into scouts? He is four on gold. That tells me he wants to go some on water and some archers. I'm I'm really pumped for this. He needs his barracks first. This is so tough to pull off, guys. Basically, if land spots this. It could be game, because this entire attack will be walled in. The ranges will be walled in. Whatever that is built here will be addressed. Land does not know. Next game forest, nothing T90 woo, T90 woo, T90 woo. Here come the man at arms and the scout. Twig is getting man at arms himself. Oh. Wait, so why is he getting man at arms though? Does he have units? Says he's one military. Why is he getting men at arms? Is just is that just a reflex? Or is it defensively? Maybe it's defensively. Is he gonna make them now? Oh, right, he's making them now. Yeah, okay. So he'll make them. Uh he does need to wall off the right side of his base. It's Japanese men at arms he's up against. They'll they'll wreck Malian men at arms because they attack faster. Oh my god! Oh my god! Lan is walling this up. He does not expect there to be a range here. Now, guys, a lot of people might be thinking, well, T90 doesn't land see that bear spot on the ground. That's a spec bug. The only reason that shows up is because I've already been on Twig's point of view. So he doesn't see that terrain change. Now, a dock on the left side for Lan, and he's killed all the fish from Twig. That is massive. That gives him a massive lead. So now he has four fishing ships, and it is zero fishing ships for Twig. Though that one's actually hiding there. Guys, if you're going for a sneak like this, you have to be patient. It's tempting to run out with four or five archers. You need to wait. Oh no, oh no, don't tell me that this deer is going to be chosen next, and the vills will come this way. You need to wait for fletching, and you need to wait for six archers, like five or six archers. Such a risky move. And I've been wanting Sneak Archers to work for months. I uploaded it to YouTube, uh, Sneaky Archers. I'm sure a lot of you saw the video. It was a sweet video, but it failed. I haven't seen Sneak Archers work in years. Because normally it's spotted. He's within enemy lines. He's He's been walled in to the enemy's base. Lan will never expect this. And there's no reason for Lan to look. Because there's no way units can get in here because he's fully walled. Oh, please. He's building an outpost. Wait. Be patient. Oh, God. Here he comes. Here he comes. Fletching's in. One vil. Instant reaction from Lando. Instant reaction. That was sick. Like, how did he react so quickly? That was crazy. Wow. Well, Twig has forced a tower out of land now. He's killed three villagers. Now he sees that uh, land is towering up here, but where where does land go for resources? Where does he go for resources? He can't take wood. He can't take wood. All of his wood was on the back. And normally that's extremely safe. But what does he do now? He's on a straggler tree. And he, he needs wood to make skirmishers or any form of defense. He goes out here for wood now. Wow. Wow, it's working. I mean, this has been more successful than the previous sneak archer attempts.
Now, Twig has to know he's running to the right-hand side or to the left-hand side. Most likely the right, because he hasn't seen any movement this way. Uh, still an eco lead for land because he has the fishing ships, but the fishing ships are, are less efficient now. And for Twig, he has more land eco, so he has all these farms. Uh, there's nothing that land has that's attacking him. I think Twig needs a market sooner rather than later. Look at his eco, man. 800 gold. <laughs> 800 gold and oh! Twig wants to sit underneath the tower. He can do so. He'll kill another villager and now these villagers are all idled. That is until the skirmishers come out and there are a few on the way now. There's a blacksmith so he can get fletching because he can't fight the archers until fletching. These villagers are going out to deer. This is so hectic. Look at the lumber eco. I think that both players will end up having e uh, equal times or uh, very even times to the castle age. More archers coming in from the ranges. Now, I wonder if Lan... He still doesn't know there was a sneak. Maybe he thought there was a hole in his wall or something. Or maybe he just didn't think that Twig would notice that the villagers were there. Uh, that it, it definitely seems to me like Lan is... He's confused, you know? He doesn't know what to do or where to go. It's extremely sloppy. The sneak has worked. And Twig is on his way up to the next stage and he's built a stable. Which, interestingly enough, has been scouted by Lan. So Lan sees the stable, so at least he's aware. But I don't think being aware saves him here. And now another stable from Twig, and don't tell me that's a tower. And a tower on the gold! This is amazing! Wow! I think this whole series needs to be separate videos on YouTube. This has been so good. Land just doesn't know what to do. The tower won't go up, but it's a sign of what could happen, right? Uh, here come the spearmen from Land because he saw the stable, so that's excellent awareness from him. But guys, Land... He only has 300 food. He only has 400... No, he doesn't even have 300 food anymore. He does. He's not even close to clicking up. All of his eco destroyed by that sneak. He lost both of his lumber camps. He lost his berries. He only has the gold. And then he has the wood out here. And he has the fish, but there's no more fish anymore. Like he actually... There'd be more fish on this side, but since he docked the central, central area... He would only be able to make fishing traps now. And so he will try and hold on here. He's making his own tower. Villagers will die as he tries to build this tower. And I think if you're Twig, you just need a bit of patience. A bit of patience. Send knights in. And Lan just die to it. What can Lan do against four knights and crossbows? He can hide in the towers. And then the villagers underneath the towers will die. He needs Castle Age fast. Land's best response is tower defense, spear defense, skirmisher defense until you reach his castle age, and then from there, I mean, it's all adapting at this point, but he's completely surrounded. So, the thought process from Twig, as he's adding a second town center, by the way, is to get knights out to counter the skirms. But he has Bodkin Arrow on his crossbows. His villagers are actually sneaking around here to build a tower, and the knight comes from the forward stable! This is amazing! So that tower is going up, and that will deny another wood line. I just don't see how Lan can hold on here. He's going to the gold in the center! I love how many options there are, uh, how many possibilities there are for aggression. I love this play from Twig. I love how Lan has not given it up yet. Uh-oh. Uh! Oh, he's fine. That's actually important. Twig- Oh, Twig saw the gold! Twig saw the gold! Are you kidding me? He sees the gold. He's killing the Vils. He knows something's coming. Wow, and we actually have a forward stable from Lan over here, because he walked right across. He's able to do that because he has the water control. What a crazy game. Now, over here... The, the crossbowmen have died, or, well, it's going to be close. 
Here, the tower has gone up. Somehow, Lan is staying alive. It's certainly not pretty. Like, the overlay doesn't tell the whole story because the efficiency has been much better for Twig. And Twig now sees that there's a forward stable. So, I mean, he... Twig sees a lot of what's going on at the moment. There's so many different areas to focus on, even I can't follow it. Villagers seem to be dying everywhere. Uh, Twig just needs to click that knight there and he gets rewarded with another vil kill or two. You know, perhaps Twig could... Maybe Twig could try and stabilize at home with towers and monks and then win water. I don't know what he has the resources for anymore, but if he gets the water control, he could possibly stabilize a little bit. But everywhere you look, there's units from Twig. Twig's using all of his forward buildings, his forward ranges, his forward stable now. The reaction time you would need is insane, and even Twig's defending at home with a camel. I mean, he is prepped. He is ready. TC in the center for Lan, he's 10 bills behind. He does have uh, uh, one fishing ship on a fish trap. He's probably buying a lot of food right now because he doesn't have any food. I think this game's over. I think Twig's gonna win. Incredible. I mean, he has a commanding lead right now with economy. Two town centers. He could build a castle soon. Uh, he certainly needs to close this one out. Like, honestly, just apply pressure to the gold, right? Keep getting the knights and the crossbows underneath the towers. Oh, and we have a tower from land. Does Twig see that? Twig sees it. Does Twig actually see it? He's probably not looking here right now. He's probably looking elsewhere. Alright, he's noticed. The tower will go up. I noticed Twig has almost enough stone for a castle. So does he just castle here to, to kill that? And protect his flank? It's probably not what he wanted, you know? He probably wanted to build the castle in the center. Okay, couple questions. One, how is Land still alive? I have no clue. But he's in it. And he has the middle control. Air quotes. Control. He certainly has this gold, which is helping him. And he's buying the stone currently for his towers. Another question is, where does Twig build this castle? And he decides to build it here. Yeah, he can't let this get out of control. So he'll place his castle here. I don't think that's where he wanted to place it. So good job from Land to force it back uh, defensively instead of offensively. But once the castle goes up, it should be in range of... Uh, I think it'll be in range of both all, all three towers? Let's see. Should be, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So it'll just shoot the towers down. Oh, the knights are back to the gold! The knights are back to the gold! More villagers going down. What's ridiculous is that... Land currently has more economy in the center of this map than he does next to his main eco. <laughs> like, where his TC started, he has less villagers than he does in the center. <laughs> That's the ridiculous thing. I mean, he's trying. Lan is trying, right? But he, call he calls the GG. What a game! How did Twig win that? He, he didn't have two of his sheep. He didn't have his pig. He goes, you know what? Most people would play very defensive here, but I'm going offensive. And he snuck the Vils around. He got to the back of Lan's base. Then Lan, he walls up his base and he thinks everything's fine. He's like, oh, this is fine. I'm full walled. I'm protected. I'm ahead on water. And had that sneak not been there, had that sneak not been there, then he definitely would have been, uh, he would have been way ahead. Right, he, he would have won the game if the sneak wasn't there. No doubt in my mind. He had the fish and he had small vill lead. He had military. Twig waited. He got fletching first. He had just enough archers to two shot the vills. So he killed three. Forced the tower. Blue ran away. More towers went up. Sneak stables. That was sick, man. That was sick. And that has actually outdone game one of this qualifier which I also said deserved its own YouTube video because it was so outstanding. This is just the qualifiers, guys. 
This is just the qualifiers. The main event is until April. 35 kills for Twig. Uh, he had way more food in Wood Eco. No surprise that Lan had gold because he that's all he was collecting near the end. But that's never enough. And we move on now to game number five. This is the decider.